<clears throat> hey guys, starting back up here. Looks like, uh, folks, uh, that uh, Big AZ did not uh, start up. I'm going to leave the same crapsy unless I get enough people that say that they want something different. So if you do want a, something different, then go ahead and state that. And I will do something different here. Um, All right, I'm just announcing in chat that I went live. Uh, let's put here. All right. All right, let's see. Um, let's go back. So we're on Crapsy. Um, let's fix the screen here. And we could get dice roll there. Try to resize the screen again. Live chat over here. It's not all rainbows and sunshine, guys. Sometimes there's some setup that comes to some of this stuff. Uh, uh, let's come over here and put that back in here. All right, properties. chat back up uh, yep go get your refreshments uh, whatever you need we're started back up uh, we can start where we left off I can put in a new crapsy let me know what you guys would like to do um, I got a request to to start back up so that is why I have so it'll take just a second or two for people to come back in. Crap, see. Let me uh, share the stream. Um, yes, I can copy this here and put it over in the Discord. They were asking for it. Welcome. Hey, I changed the picture. I don't know why I was showing that. Uh, whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. not in the name. Craps. Let's take dice and pens out. No more dice. Alright. Alrighty guys, looks like we got a few people in. I don't know if we let's go to Crapsy. I'm gonna go out and in just to see how many people we have. It's the same table. If some of you guys need a rebuy, please ask for one. Looks like we got six people on. Uh, I'll 
go ahead and get started, I guess, here. What do, who do we have on? I'm showing Rich is on. Noah is back. Duracell is here. And I see K8. And looks like Justice Chen jumped in and Waylon is on. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get out there. Go ahead and get your bets up. Uh, sorry about that. I thought Big Izzy had said he was going to. It looks like he had sent that maybe several minutes before, but he still had his live up with the chat. And uh, I ended it early thinking he was going to have one. I was going to go jump in there and maybe put the title on the line. All right. Well, that did not happen, so we're here. I did offer Jeff to do a collaboration and some others, but uh, looks like I think he's tied up here in doing that, but I'm sure he'll jump in. Um, get my ability to be able to enter the roles in the tracker. So we'll start where we left off. Uh, hopefully we continue on some decent roles here tonight. All right. We did not get the four. All right, so we're off. And we'll reset all these bets over here. We did end up hitting the tall. No two tonight, but from earlier. Lots of views. All right, I'm going to try something, so be careful. We had so many primary hits. Don't know if I'm going to be in that same pocket and same revolution sort of force level. But I'm going to try the hard way set. Let's see what damage we can do with that. Hopefully not to your bankroll. All right, 4-2-4-2. Four, two, four, two. In theory, I should have a bunch of... In this case, hard fours. Counting all the 11s that I ended up hitting. And, well, we start off with a yo. <laughs> we went away from that as a primary hit, but we got that as an uh, implosion or explosion on the right dice and uh, one revolution forward. So a 5 6 yo. Frontline winner. Yo 11, pay the line. Take the don'ts. Pay the line. All right. That's a nice little gift. All right. Get your bets back up. For folks on the, uh, on the don't, though, that might hurt. Unless you hedged it. No more bets. And we're back out. out. So we got a yo. That's actually good. Getting one of the hard ones out of the way. Especially with hardway set, because you need a implosion explosion in order to get those. So that's always interesting. Four two. Four two. Alright. And we got a five. Four one five. So we got an implosion this time from the right dice. Axis on the on the other one or primary implosion primary because remember fours are on top. Five, five is the point. That's the great thing. It's much so much easier to diagnose very quickly what happens on your dice. Levictus, sure. Okay. Um, get your bets out. We're going to try to get uh, some decent amount of rolls in here for you all. Alright, we need some odds. And let's do the two and one. Let's get five on the hard two. Uh, actually, it should be the hard six and the hard two should be the ones that we would see the most because the hard six is in the spot that the hard eight was. The hard two is in the spot that the yo was. No more 
when we had all those primary hits, so we'll see if that stands true. Five is the point that we're on. So we got the O, and then we got the five. Went out there a little bit more. All right. Three, six. Oh, no, not three, six. I'm sorry. Four, two, four, two. We're doing a, an experiment given what we saw from the earlier roll. Should I have, or could I have gone over to the hard way set? Be ginger with your, with your betting or not hyper aggressive is what I will say. All right, good action. And we got a 5-1 mixer. We got a 6, 5-1. Again, we're seeing an implosion or explosion now with one of the dice, which is okay. We saw that before as well, outside of the primary hits. So that really was one of the things that said, you can still go to this set in order to, because I was staying on axis for the most part. No double pitches, or very few. Okay. Uh, let me pull up the chat. Let me pop it out and then pull it up. Let's take a second here. Pop out. Pull it up over on the big screen. All right. Smash the likes. All right. Let's go back to Crapsy. Sorry about that. All right. So what do we have here? He's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Won't let me into Crapsy. Hmm. Okay, connecting. Do you see? Yeah, I see you in there, in Crapsy. Um, okay, it looks like you're good now. After all the talk, Vince switched and busted out. He did, Rich. That is very true. He he kept on asking for red, and then when he got it, he was he was all out of chips by a lot. Holy cow. All right, um, all right. So we're gonna go back out. Uh, we just hit a six. Our six is fine there. We'll, we're good with the collection. We're gonna go back on five dollars there, because who knows? Might get some magic. Go two two on the other stuff. No more betting. And Dice are out. Hands high. all right, back out. Again, I am on the hard way set. Not on the set that you see in front of the camera there. So this is an experimentation given all the primary hits that we saw. And we saw quite a few of them. Can I continue to see some primary hits? If I do, you should see quite a few hard sixes. As well as hard twos. Oh, got a bit of a runner there. And we got the point for one. You should be able to see right from the stick, or from this camera, stick camera, trying to show you that there is no frills. If there's a seven, I'm gonna call it out. No flipping of any dice. All right, four one. It's all about transparency. You're gonna have long rolls, you're gonna have short ones. It's nice when you hit a point, because that always helps some people, especially if they're playing uh, a shorter, shorter game that might only include one number in the pass line or something like that. Some people only play pass line. All right, get your crap checks out. All right. Let's just make sure I didn't miss anything there. Nope, didn't look like it. <clears throat> And I just need to enter that four here. Four one. Four one point hit. Okay. Still infancy on this roll. This is a come out roll. Again, as you know, I don't go on on my come out rolls. So um to each your own if you decide to go on. Just realize 
I always use it for information, not necessarily to, uh, I'm trying to understand what my dice set is giving me. Of course, the more points you hit, the more chances you get to come out sevens. So, 42, 42. All right, and we got another six. It's another mixer. We're getting the same number combinations. That's actually a really good thing, right? It means that the dice, as they're hitting the wall, are actually coming up with a similar result. So the energy, the pitch, the yaw, the flatness that they're coming into the wall is actually the same or very similar, resulting in the same combination. All right, so six. Uh, get your fives if you need them. And I'm going to go 50 there. My six, hard six, I'm going to press it up one to 10. Go three crap, one yo, essentially a horn. About three crap, two yo. All right. Get your bets in. No more we do have nine people now back with us. <clears throat> All right, back on it. Again, I'm not doing the same set, so please realize that. This is an experiment. 4242. Four, two. Can I get some primary hits if I do? You should see some twos and threes. The two twos and two threes come up a few times. If I'm in that same velocity pocket that I was before. All right. And we got a nine. So, so far, we're not seeing any of those primary hits, but we are staying away from the devil's number. All right, so we go on a six there, and we get a nine. Three, six, nine. <clears throat> nine, center field. Get your bets in. Oh, I put two six. It's three six. Sorry. Three six. Oh, yeah. It's going to do that, isn't it? There we are. Come back to this. Come back to that. Okay, uh, very true. Let me see. Trying to pass the line parlay strategy. Free to try new strategies here. However, many randoms don't shoot like Alfredo. <laughs> and Alfredo doesn't shoot like many randoms either. Like I'll I'll have a a bunch of come out sevens. Like like I'm in a in a sneezing fit sometimes. If you ever seen someone on a sneezing fit. Uh, that's how sometimes my, my come out sevens come out. But uh, every once in a while I get lucky. All right, what are we on the nine? All right. We're going to stay with this set until it uh, fails us here. So no more we're coming back out. Dice are out. Hey, five. Four, two, four, two. Four two four two. Pretty good action. There we go. That's our first primary hit. And it's a hard six, as we said before. We knew that this was something that should come up if we got back to that same pocket and that same velocity. Great action on the dice. Hard six. 
we were ten dollars on it that's going to pay off 90 bucks and it's going to be a winner on the front lawn two birds one stone all right let me go over here then come back over here ay 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 no don't do that okay there we go finally all right sorry i'm fighting with my phone it keeps on putting it in a mode that makes it so that i have to like physically check a box instead of just a number okay so your your parlay strategy on the line just worked <laughs> i can't tell you it's going to continue to work but uh um maybe that's the second unique point we're going to go on a craft check here and get back on the come out roll we're actually going to hop the hard four and hard six because those are the, are the two combinations given where the dice are currently set that we're coming up that would be the equivalent of the hard eight and this would be the equivalent of the yo that it, that i was having under the different set no just explaining what i'm doing so you guys understand so so the six was the point, not the nine. And we get one there and one there. All right. Four, two, four, two. All right, and we got a five again. That's one that we hit on the first point, and it's the same version, four, one, five. Again, these are the sorts of things that you should look for when looking to press up bets. If you're seeing the same dice combinations, if the person can stay from getting too amped up or under amped up, you might actually have a chance of that number reoccurring. Five, five, six, Especially if you see multiple numbers having the same dice combination. Typically something, if you see like something like that on the table, you might think next time around, I'm gonna bet pretty, pretty good on this person. Uh, what is going on? That didn't, I thought that was gonna work. Hey, 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 here we are. Oh, I got the return button on this one, so that's good. One four. Sorry. All right, good. I'm over here chatting. Gonna move the five back over to six. And we're gonna go this time to eighty odds. We'll get another two dollars and one, two and one. We're going to bump our hard two and our hard six. Doubling them. No more bets. And hoping for that primary hit Five. zone that we were in before. We only need one every so often. Um, we only need like a couple each, maybe two to three each roller to not only make it worthwhile, but it'd be pretty dang profitable so long as I'm not like full parlaying them okay the new point is five four two four two all right and we got an eight this is the first eight six two six two eight put the five on and Mark the eight. <clears throat> so that's an explosion of the right dice. And the two would be one turn instead of this way, the other way. So one turn up. All right, so six, two. Enough yapping. Get your bets in. Eight, Sorry about eight, that. Try to speed it up for you. All right, 
let's see. Yeah, I'm experimenting with the hardways. Um, and the hardway sets are more prone to the implosion explosions. But as long as I do it on one dice, it doesn't matter. Or if both dice do the same thing, it doesn't matter. It's when one dice flips and the other dice, like one dice explodes and one dice implodes is where, where you'll run into uh, some issues. <laughs> State of Texas slam, love it. Yeah. Oh, because because <laughs> I'm gambling from the stage. This is um, for for funsies. <laughs> I love you, Slim. No All right. All right. Let's go. Four two four two. Keeping the same dice set. We're seeing. Good action so far. Only one primary hit thus far. We had a plethora of primary hits on the, on the last one. Could be fatigue. Could be a lot of different things. But uh, we just got our second primary hit. It's a hard 10. 10 the hard way. And that is our second primary hit. Let's go. That's where we're going to make money. If, if I can stay primary every once in a while, give you guys some chance to maybe not parlay, but at least make some money, you know that I'm going to be on even numbers. So what what does the hard way set in primary mean? That means that I'm going to be on the 4, the 6, the 8, and the 10, hopefully, more than the other numbers. We have seen three fives, and we've seen one... One nine so far this this roller. <clears throat> All right, so that was a pretty good hit. We're gonna go press that to five. We're gonna get a crap check. Get your bets in, guys. Um, let's go dollar you. This just in. Alfredo is on a big roll. Uh, I wish, right? Imagine, guys, if we were on Sports Center. That would be cool. <clears throat> All right, hard 10. You can only dream. We need a 12. All right. All right. Uh, 4 2 4 2. And we have our second prim primary hit, our third primary hit, actually, a hard eight. There you go. Eight the hard way. So our plan is starting to work out. Unfortunately, that was the lowest hard way that I had, only $2 on it. Eight, hard eight. But nonetheless, we're seeing what we were actually setting for. We've now had three primary hits on this shooter, and it's not been a super long roll. So that actually is more hard ways than you should have in that number of times. So we're now in an overperformance on hard ways, which is good. Back to back hard ways, in fact. Okay. Let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks good. All right, uh, hard way set uh, seven is a double pitch or an implosion explosion. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. That is the second eight. Of course, it's never a bad time to regress and take some profit. Or press it to the moon if you feel you're seeing what you want to see. It's all a calculation. Trust your gut, especially if you played the game long enough. All right. And speaking of that, I end up with a double pitch. I don't know if it 
curse myself or what, but four three. Four stood right on axis. Uh oh. Didn't lock you guys out. <clears throat> Actually, pretty good roll uh, overall. Four three. Seven up. Line away. It's gonna hurt some. I made 250 off the roller, so not bad. I left 400 out there, so I should have regressed some. Got a little too in intertwined in it. I don't know. What do you, so what's your guys feeling? So let me see. Two points. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rolls. Three hard ways. Would you rather have me go back to the 3B set? Or would you have me rather continue and try to stay on axis here without a double pitch and without an implosion explosion? Your guys' votes. What would you rather? <laughs> I should have regressed too. <laughs> I left uh, The casino took more of the profits one off the roll twice as much as what I had, I took. So I did pay off the roll. I did get to 250 profit, but I had like 700, over 750. Uh, I do Vince, that was the one time I missed it, sorry. It will happen on occasion. Stick with the 4242. Okay, we'll stick with the 4242. All right. I'm going to hop the hard ways coming out. I'm going to try to get a, not, not as much spin on it. I'm going to try to get a little bit higher arc. I don't like the arc that I threw on that last one, um, which I don't know that that's the reason that led to it, but... I just didn't like the arc on it. Came a little shallow. Released it maybe a hair too early. All right, I think that covers it. As best as you can, try to get your bits in quickly. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, Hardaway set's going to give you the best information. It's going to show whether you're double pitching. It's going to show whether you can, if you can only have one flip of the dice, it's the best set, right? Like one one hit any way is not going to hurt you. It's the double pitch that you have to avoid. Um, my thumb was okay there. I don't know that I pushed it uh, as much as I, I threw it at a shallow, shallower angle. So. If it's supposed to be released at 35, probably release it at about 28, which is not good. All right. Thumb in the center, middle finger in the center. All right. And we got a 9, 6, 3, 9. These are both tied right into the corner. <clears throat> so that's uh, explosion of the right dice, uh, two revolutions of the left dice. All right, get your bets in. Nine, nine <clears throat> Thanks for joining us, Vince. Did you want to get a rebuy? Feel free to. It's not, so here's the thing. Um, I understand what you're saying. Most of my mega rolls have come off the hard way set, Duracell. 
I don't know that they're necessarily masking per se. Um, what I will say is that the hard way set is exposed the more you're on axis. And so the more you have dice on axis, you are exposed with the hard way set because you're, you have a higher frequency potential of a double pitch by having more probability on axis than what you should be. So the more dialed in, a lot of people tend to go to the 3V or 2V sets because you don't want to, you know, expose yourself even more. So let's say you're, you're up 10%. Well, it's not 10% because let's say the, the average person's right around 45 on axis and you're, you're right at 55 or 60. That's, that's actually, you know, percentage wise to the other number, it could be 33% more exposure. That's what, what you're trying to avoid. Um, sometimes by going to another set that has a little bit more forgiveness, essentially. All right, we're going to go hard ways. We're going to go heavy on the, on these two. Actually, we're going to do 10 on all of them. Let's see. You know, can we keep them on axis and throw some hard ways? It is to be seen. And that one. All right. 4242. We'll try to get some rhythm going here and speed it up just a tad. Good action, and we ended up with a four, Big Joe, three and a one, so we still got a, this time, implosion on the right dice. Big Joe. One, three. Face 49, so you get some of the hard way back. We'll go 5 on it this time, and we'll bump up the actual 4 to 20, or to 50. We'll also bump up the 10. So we're reinvesting not only 6 more dollars, we're going to get a $2 crap, $1 go. Get your bets out. One, three. And we'll hop the four hard for one dollar. No more bets. Dice are up. Yeah. I mean, with with the other sets, you're always one, one flip or one, one pitch and one flip away. So you you just really need to go to the set that de-exposes you the most, and that's what Bone Tracker, free software out there by Axis Paragraphs, is helpful for, especially if you have a surface that's common that you can shoot into. It doesn't need a big, a t uh, an actual table like mine. I actually had a throwing station before this. All right, we got a five. Four, one, five. Another implosion in primary. All right, so we just had the four. We now have the five. We'll get this marked in there. Allow you guys to get your bets up or regressed or whatever you're in the pocket of doing at this point. One, four, five. Five, a no field five. <laughs> oh, new table. Good question. It's not necessarily rhetorical. Yeah, kissing sets are, are also good good ways to 
if you're having trouble with hardware set and having trouble with B sets, kissing sets can help keep you away from some of the sevens, depending on, on what you're seeing. But the the question about the table adjustments. So if you have a bouncy table, you can take some bounce out of it. Um, let me lock you guys out. You can take some, uh, Vince, okay. Get your bets in, Vince. I'll give you a second. You can take some bounce out of it. Um, let me see. I'll try to try to display it right here. So, um, going to get a different set of dice, uh, like these over here, so that I can show you. All right, we're going to get these big purple dice, right? So as he's betting, let's say you're on the four-two-four-two, four two. okay, and you have a very ultra bouncy table. It's bouncing off the table. It's bouncing back and coming, you know, deep into the come bed all the way to the end of the field or into the bet line. What do you do? So one way of getting away from that, let's say most people, when they set the dice, right, they set the dice and they put it on the edge, right? So it's not facing the wall, but it's on the edge. You can ultra cup it so it's facing the wall. So your numbers here on the face are literally facing the wall. You can also go even more and cock it a little bit. What that does is when you release it on the same release point, it's going to create a little bit of backspin. So when it hits the wall, it's going to be more amped to stop. And so it's going to take out some of the bounce from the table. The key thing about that is that you need to avoid slamming into the wall uh, or, or not hitting the wall at all, right? Because you're going to get a lot of heat from the casino about not hitting the wall. All right, so sorry about that. We were waiting for Vince to get his bets in and explaining a way that one adjustment you can make to like an ultra bouncy table. Well, you have the opposite, right? You can have a table that's not as bouncy. So you take, let's say you normally cup it, you might put it on its edge. You may not take a backswing. Um, there's other ways you can hold it. Uh, if you're seeing a real big bounce versus a normal bounce that you're used to, you can grip deeper into the, the actual set, and that will help you with control and less spin. So some of the different ways that you can actually adjust to the table. Also, don't be afraid of switching to a different position on the table. That should always be an option if things are going wrong. We got an ace deuce shocker. So we got a secondary hit and another implosion, this time on the right dice, not the left dice. We do need that if we're going to get the ATS. Two, one, three. Sorry about the explanations, guys. I know some sometimes folks want to learn what goes through the person that's been shooting. Like, I've been shooting dice for more than well over 20 years. Um, Dingle the field. We'll press five. Did it, was that helpful at all as far as the bounce? Duracell, like explaining what I might do. Might actually have to go out and in. I'm seeing a little bit of a slowness there. Not ultra slow, but. That explanation is the new segment, Alfredo. Just Alfredo call calls just the tips. <laughs> Thanks, Blackburn. Yeah, I mean, other shooters, different uh, different things. I think, like, you need to adjust to the table. Don't try to bet against what the table's giving you. If you're seeing a number come up a lot, bet on that number. Come down on some of the other numbers. You know, filter some of your bets in. If that ends up hitting, lo and behold, you might have a pretty big bet on that number if you consolidated. You don't have to necessarily put more money on the table. 4242. 
Grip is really important. Landing zone is equally as important. And velocity is definitely important. All right. And speaking of velocity, this one fell short of hitting the wall. And we ended with a 167. So not hitting the wall on a hard way set and one does hit the wall, not a good thing. If they both don't hit the wall, you might be able to survive it. But we did have an implosion explosion. And this was not quite as long a roll as the other one was. We did hit quite a few numbers, different numbers, but we didn't hit enough to make back our money in this case, losing a little bit. All right. Essentially everything I went on the first roll. Hi, uh, okay. Didn't help that I hit rubbish. So I'm going to go back to the 3B set. I think I had my experimentation. If I still have some primary hits, as long as they come in the right face hit, I should still have some hard ways. Uh, we're just going to go back to the 3B set. So uh, some some fun and interesting stuff. I hate seeing uh, an implosion explosion even more than a double pitch. Double pitch, I can fix with my thumb. I cannot fix an implosion explosion other than making sure I hit the damn wall, which I didn't do in that case. Okay, back to the drawing board. Three, six, three, five. Let me make sure I locked you guys out. I don't know if I did. I did not. I didn't even bet. I was that disgruntled. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Oh, I hate seeing that implosion explosion. That's why I, I don't throw the three the hard way set as much anymore. That uh, six one gives me a stomach ache. It's like the 4-3 for, for easy. Like I want to go punch something or something like that. And the funny thing on that is that was all me. Like I didn't hit the wall both dice and I should have expected that. Low energy on that one, unfortunately. All right, let's go 30, two, And I think I said I need to go out and in, but I'll do it after this one. <clears throat> Dice are out. They're coming out. Okay. All right. Three, six, three, five. Make sure I get enough to get to the wall. At that point in the night where I probably need to remind myself. All right. And we ended up with a five, a three, two, five. Again, the reason for this camera, and this camera will actually have a better angle once I have my tripod fixed, uh, should be fixed tomorrow. Uh, three, two is to show you there's no funky business with my stick. I think full transparency helps folks understand you know what what's going on but also to have the confidence that you know five, someone's not five, playing a hocus pocus in the background all right i did say i'm gonna go out and in so you guys got the five get your bets up or i don't know if it's gonna allow you to bet if i exit but be back one second <clears throat> Uh, three, two, five. Got 12 people playing. 13 with me. All right, we're back out. Things popping up good. Uh, let's go. We're going to go big. We're going to go black chip and one revolution of green chip on the inside all right and then we're gonna go 
black chip here. We're going to get the hard eight and the uh, and the hard six. Yep, with this set, you should be ready to see some outside numbers for sure. No more bets. <laughs> and potentially that yo that we saw quite a bit of might make me mad if I see like three or four yo's after switching the set when I was trying to get that hard six a bunch of times and it only came once. But that's the sickness of this game. It toys with you. Three, six, three, five. Okay, hit the wall. Ooh, that was a little more energy than I wanted. Yep. A little bit more energy than I wanted. And I got a 5 2. One dice pounded backwards. Uh, okay. That hurt the bankroll a little bit. But we're up money overall. Now we're down. Seven out. Line away. That hurt. But it can still be made up. Now we're down a couple of hundred from earlier today. PSO. A $44,000. No. $445,000. Ask for something that's reasonable. $25,000. Levictus. Come on, guys. Ask for, like, no more than $5,000, guys. I will approve $5,000. i am not going to approve $450,000. All right, so that was horrible for probably everyone. If you need to get a rebuy, feel free. Back to the drawing board. 10, 10, 10. So I said hit the wall. I didn't say bang into it. My brain said, oh, I don't know if you're going to hit the wall. And I gave it a little more oomph. And it really banged into it. Get your bets in. All right, bang five two. Uh, da 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 five two. Okay, shake it off. We can get back from this. No more bets. <laughs> but what you should do, if you end up having a couple of these in a row. You should definitely call it a night. No use in trying to chase down something. That will save you money in the end. All right, let's get back on point. All right, that's better. But it's the same result. This one did go over. It is a come out seven. Not necessarily necessarily a bad thing, but it might hurt some people. Five two. <sighs> Five two. So I can fix this because that has more to do with what I have on the face. Get your revise in, guys. Uh, okay. All right, so crap check. Get back on the ATS. 10, 10, 10. The ATS essentially wiped out any gains I would have had. I broke even. But I have to put my bets back up. Get your bets back up. All right, so what am I going to do? And this is why the 3V and 2V sets are a little bit better. You can actually make modifications on stuff like this that you're seeing that can actually help. And I'll show you what I mean. So because 2 on the right dice and 5 are on the outside, so 5 on this side, uh, 2 on this side, I can actually 
change what's on the top here to be like a one. That way, if I get a five over here, that's a six, if that makes sense. So now I'm going with the one, three, two, three to avoid the implosion, explosion, implosion or explosion one pitch seven on on the uh, on the three B set. All right, better toss, extra roll on the on the right dice here. Here's that uh, conniption fit. Three, four, seven. Three sevens in a row. Two of them on the come out roll. Uh, okay. Is this a uh, Blackburn? Is this uh, giving you like some uh, deja vu from from uh, what was it? Uh, Ellis Island. We're not quite there yet, but we might be pretty soon. Don't bet the come out roll, guys. You're on on the come out roll, and unless you're just hopping a small bet, you're going to burn yourself. I'm telling you. I will throw the sevens on a come out roll with the best of them. And probably better than most. And not that I'm trying to. But I'm trying to get information, and the information this is giving me is, I don't know, the 3B set is where we need to be, but we're going to keep on banging it away and see if we can get... A better result. All right. Three, six, three, five. I could go to a kissing set as well. So if I if I kiss the the threes, uh, should have a seven somewhere here. All right, so I'm going to kiss the threes. I am currently at a two, six, five, six, sevens on top, kissing threes. All right, kissing threes, and I ended up getting a hard four. We're going to go to Kissing Twos. Oh, I didn't. No sorry. Dice are out. I out. did not lock you guys out. I apologize. Get your bets in. Let's see if someone took advantage of that. Hopefully they didn't. No, I don't see anyone that jumped crazy up. Okay, we're going to go back to betting the little nuts for the next three rolls. Um, let's do green ship, cross, cross. Go. What else? Uh, purple. All right. We're out there big. Eleven hundred and thirty in play. No more <clears throat> Still on the first buy. I haven't done a rebuy. Only a couple hundred down. Hard four. Where's the point? All right. Kissing tubes. Six one or six three, five three. Rhythmatic rolling. We got an eight. Five, three, eight. We're going to have kissing sixes. Eight, easy eight.
Get your bets in. Easy eight. Six is really underperforming tonight. Everything else somewhat good. Uh, we have obviously the elevens way overperforming. No more bets. <coughs> Dice are out. Hands high. All right. Three five. All right. We said kissing sixes. We have. Three, two, four, two. All right, and we got a five, one, six. Five, one, six. All right. No hard way. Five, one, six. Six easy, six. All right, another hit on the green side. All right, get your bets in. All right, let's look here. Alfredo, roll four, one come out, lay 10, the better option, waiting for eight repeater. He hasn't rolled aces at all. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I rolled them in all night long yet. Rolled some 12s a couple of times, I think. Okay, so we're going to go with, I don't know, well, we're still going to go kissing sixes, because that seemed to work. Kissing sixes. All right, three, two, four, four, two. All right. And we got a three two five. Three two five. So oh crap. Did it again, didn't I? No more bets. Need to walk you guys out. Being haphazard now. Hopefully no one heard that before. I don't think they did. There is a small delay. Five, a no field five. Okay. So I've made 643 off this roll. Starting with black chip, pressing them up for the first two hits. Do I continue, or the three hits, I think. Is it three or two? I don't know. Do I continue to press or do I regress? That is the call. We will press one more time. All right. Get your bits in. Two, three. Is it two fives or one five? It was back to back. Yeah. Oh, the other one was six, six. That's the only one. Okay. All right. So, all inside boxes. 
No more backup. We're locked. We're ready to go. All right. Take a look at this set again. Uh, we looked okay, so we're going to go kissing sixes one more time. Three, two, four, two. All right. And we got a 10 over on the end. Wayland's best friend. Four, six, ten. All right, so what did we have? We had a four. We had a six. We had a five. We had a ten. We had an eight. Okay, I think that's right. Wait, I have to double check. All right, four, six, ten. I will regress now, so I'm deep into the positive at this point. I've taken mega risk by putting that much out there and pressing it up, not collecting any of it. And so now I'm up 764. I could continue to go press city, but we're not going to. All down. We're going to do 25 odds here. Oh, that's not... I thought we were on a 25 chip. 25 odds here. Across. Twice. And we'll do 50 odds. And we'll do five on the hard on the hard ways. Five dollars there, two dollars here. Hopefully you guys are ready. Got 12 of you. No more Don't know if you guys are regressing or not. Power press, I Alfredo. <laughs> I did power press uh, a little bit. Uh, I took some out of my rack at, on the first one. Um, in addition to already having black chips out there. So I recovered a ton off this roller. And that's what I do. Like, if I have a PSO, I'm typically not going to have a back-to-back. -back, but I did have some come out seven, so it might have, you know, could easily scare someone off of uh, what could potentially be a really profitable roll. All right. Kissing sixes. Three, two, four, two. Ooh, that hit very awfully right at the base of the wall, but we got it away with it. We got a five, four, one, five. Some people like doing that. I'm not a fan. I don't mind it jumping into the base. Um, I don't like it directly smacking the base. Sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen. In that case, it had enough spin where it really um, didn't go anywhere. It just hit, they hit flat pretty much. Five, a no failed five. All right. We still had 50 on it, so we're going to get paid a little bit. So far, we won off this roller 958. I'm going to take everything down, go out, and come back in. Getting a little bit of a lag. I, that might be a fan issue. I do have an external fan that I typically put under it, but I don't have it out tonight. I've had the equipment out for quite a while. All right, let me go down on everything. Uh, back. We're gonna go back out there, double double tap, green chips, cross, fifty. 
all the hard ways. Get our yo. All right, things are running good. Hopefully, get your bets in. <clears throat> and I guess we can go sixty. Sixty. There's a new message here. Waylon should have played my inside hop strategy. I'd be up 10 G's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I've hit across each of the different numbers, right? Uh, okay. All right. So, you know, this is something that I've learned from George. And the kissing sixes actually are still working because I don't have any hard way. So there's no reason to move off of the kissing sixes. So we're back to three, two, four, two. All right, a little bit of an extra roll and it's over. Five, two, seven. Dang it. Did I go up or down on my bets? I think I might have pressed a little bit more. 5 2. I know I came down. I have more collected than I do out there. So, secure to win, but uh, gave a little bit more back there. All right. Hopefully, that recovered some of you. Um, that wasn't bad. We hit a a few box numbers. It wasn't a long roll, though. This might be the last roller. I'm not rolling uh, lights out here. I'm clearly getting tired showing up in my mechanics. Uh, let's see. We're going to go 10, 10, 10. And. All right. We'll see if we can get you guys into a double digit roll and you'll have to be able to profit off of it because I don't know that I'm going to go beyond this this one. Unless, yeah, because even if this is short, it's just not worth it right now. I'm not. Uh... All right. Not putting out great tosses right now. No more bets. A little all over the place. That one pinged here, so if you went back, if I had the instant replay, you could see it hit and then it just like rolled. Of course, you never want action on one dice to have way more action than the others. Wasn't a bad roll uh, number wise, but it wasn't a great one either. Come out sevens actually just made it more inflated. Okay. All right, uh, let's go four one four two. Back to the three D six. Uh, still a little bit of a rollout. What is going on? Four. Right here, no one five. We're still banging out those fives. If Chen was uh playing those fives every single time she'd be in pretty good shape again play the number that's hitting why why uh why bet everything when you don't have to four one all right let's Five. take a look here see where we left off a ten and a five two and a four one. Bet the five. No. The five is the new eleven. <laughs> all right. Let's all right. Let's let's try to I'm gonna go table max times ten odds, right? 
or it's allowing, yeah, times 10 odds, 350 on my odds there, on my five. I'm betting the five. What other numbers should we bet? We should probably bet the eight, because that seems to have had a good turn tonight. We'll go 150 there. We're only going to go... Uh, let's go 45, 42 on the 6. And since this is a modified iron cross, we'll do 50 and a 5th. I guess we'll have to make this 60. I guess we'll make this 210 then. We'll make this 75. Alright, get your bits out. No more bets. Okay. Bet the dang five. Let's get that five. All right, we got a six, not a five. Here's your five. Here's your one. Sister, not the sister number, but the neighbor. Mixer has been pretty big tonight too. Just not the, uh, not the four two, which is limiting the total numbers. <clears throat> All right, we'll put our field bet back out there. We'll up our six to one fifty. All right. Currently in the lead. God is good with some good karma over there. 3,413. The next highest person that is currently in the positive is K9, 446. Uh, I am currently the next highest person that's online at 414. Then we have Blue Jay to 34. We have uh, MWS for money. Uh, at 44, Badger at 35. And then we have a couple people in the negative here uh, coming up. Hopefully we can get them out. Zero. What, what am I approving a zero for? Yeah, I don't know. No more bets. Not sure what you were asking for. Uh, all, right. all right, let's get that five, get that five. All right. Oh, that thing rolled forever. And we didn't get a five, folks. We got a one and a six. Damn seven. <sighs> that was horrible. How did that thing keep on tumbling? I didn't put that much force into it. Slammed into the wrong spot of the wall, I guess. All right. That was very costly. Last shooter. Get your bets in, get your rebuys in. My sevens have caught up to my fives. So we will 
end it after this roll. Last roll. We had a one on every dice there. We had a four one, five one, or a, yeah, five one and a six one. Ugh. Up and up, zero. Try it again. Uh, I don't know why it's saying we can't rebuy. All right. Last hurrah. No protection for me. I'm just going to do a $25 pass line. I will bet the crap to come. Okay. Softer toss. I've been throwing it way too hard. All right, let's look here. Uh, <laughs> bunch of expletives. Uh, Vince, yeah, I've been throwing it really, really bad. Born to roll dice. Need to shoot them. Need to shoot them from the deck. Uh, I could switch my uh, from the deck. So, yeah, I could do that. I'd put a little less uh, spin into it. Yeah, I, I hit the wall too hard, for sure. I think that was, well, part of the problem, right? I've been, I came up short, and that caused a seven, so that's caused me to overcompensate. And now my brain's overcompensating the compensation and causing for way more velocity to be put into it. Yeah, doesn't help that uh, shot a bunch tonight either at this point. All right, we're going back to it. Three, uh, we'll do one, three, two, three. That's a better that's that's a better action on the dice now. You guys are not gonna like the result, but four three seven on the come out roll. Four three ay ay ay. Four three. That hurt because I had twenty five on the friggin' ATS. That was seventy five bucks down the drain. Alright, so what do I do? I'm not going to work my come out seven, but I'm going to come back over here, go 50 there this time. And that one hurt. Maybe I should lay the back wall. Why not? Yeah. Go to town, Vince. Go to town. All right, I'm going to lay the back wall. Uh, lay, lay. Lay, 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 lay. Do see do. No more bets. All right. When you can't beat it, embrace it. And then I'll try to do something to avoid it, but we'll see if I have something in my arsenal. All right. Three, six, three, five. All right. <laughs> five. Jeez Louise. Right, the number I needed. Four, one, five. God, this game is cursed. I swear. Anyone hopping a five? I wasn't. Uh, should have. Lose the lay on the five. Five's the point. Okay. All right. So take that all down. We hit a five. We know. 
we'll just go non nutso Let's win this the normal way. Black chip across, green chip times two. Five, four, one. That and that. All right. No more bets. Dice are out. Hands high. Oh, I didn't put the ten out seven, did I? Missed it. Uh, four one. All right. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. One kind of go ray. All right. Let's get four hits. Four hits. That's what we want. Four hits. Then I can sleep like a baby. Four hits. All right. And hit number one. Not really. It's a yo. It's not really a hit. I don't. I know we got five bucks on it, but unfortunately, that it's helpful, but not 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 like any of the other bets. All right, so we got a yo. Yo, yo, eleven. Still rolling yos tonight. That might be a good sign. When I was rolling yos. I was rolling all the other stuff. And staying away from that stuff, so let's press that stuff. All right, get your bets out. Ten thousand, no hundred thousand. Oh wow. Let's see. See a horn, red horn. I don't know. That was a primary hit. Get back into this focus zone. All right, we got a 12, Seahorn, Bedhorn. Oh boy, that is a juicy one. Oh crap, uh, I didn't uh, lock you guys out. Sorry about that. Hopefully no one cheats. I think the delay in the thing, I probably got it before. 12, triple the three. See a horn, bed horn. Uh, what do I have here? I had twenty dollars on the horn plus six on the C. See a horn, bed horn. I'm only thirty six positive. I guess I'm betting way too much. Oh, because I got hit on the on the five. That's right, wing the back wall. All right, let's go. Maybe we can hit something that pays well. I know that's good. I think I went back out there twenty five twenty five. Might be able to make some back just from that. All right, let's go. Three six. 
three five. All right, we got the Ace Deuce Shaka, AC Deuce Shaka. Getting that hard stuff out of the way. That's another primary hit. That might be a good sign. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Three, single the field. With that said, I'm going to bump up my hard six and hard four. If I get those primary hits, that will be very nice. And that is a field or another Seahorn Bitterhorn. What did I win off that? 250. Nice. Holy cow. I don't know that I... I'm going to take some of this down. I don't think I'm going to get... I don't know that... But I'm that invested in this horn stuff. Go back to 1010. What else can I hop? Let's hop this, these two. Let's go directly on this video for 10 bucks. No more All right. <laughs> You guys wanted box hits, and I just gave you three horns in a row. My apologies. Hopefully, I keep this going. I know that's not necessarily what gets you profit unless you're betting it. Someone like Mark, who I saw jump up there, he's going to gobble those things up like they're candy. It's like, feed me, feed me, Seymour. All right, and we got the point, not a buckshot, but after all those horns, we got the point. We did a five, a one, four, five. Where does that take you, Vince? I know you had had to have a lot on the line, right? Winter Were you betting light side? Good around still in the red. I'm still in the red too. I, I as much as I hit all that, um, thirty-three dollars down from the start of the night. So uh, pretty close, pretty close. That five was nice, but uh, we still need to. We still need some work. I would have liked more box numbers than the horns. Because of what I had out there, I had a lot more out there on the other numbers. We ended up getting a lot out there on the on the horn, and then I ended up coming down like an idiot and throwing a three. Of course, I didn't embrace and believe, and well, the dice gods decided lightning does strike the same spot a few times. All right. Three six three five. Been getting a lot of ones. Not not a fan of ones on the dice, but we'll see. All right, not bad. Good action. Got a four six ten. Four six ten. Wayland's best friend, and we actually need that. Now we just need a nine and an eight. All right, so 10 on the end. Let's get that in there so you guys can get your bets out. Again, this is the last shooter. Pennies, you mark the ten. Hopefully, the shooter brings you some profits. <clears throat>
You just need one five. <laughs> oh my god. We'll follow the number that's hitting, right? Like, why not? We'll put 500 on it. Well, you know what? For the content, guys, can we hit another five? I'm all in on the five outside of the other numbers that I was already. Uh, we'll pull this down over here, put the odds over there. 984 on my five. For the content. Now, if I hit a nine, I will um, hedge my ATS because I have 25 on it. Okay. Three, six, three, five. All right, we got an ace deuce. Neither one of those, an ace deuce. It is a primary hit. We're hitting primaries again, which might mean I'm getting a second win, but I'm not rolling past this. So make your regressions at the right time. You never know what's gonna happen. This is the last roll, no matter how long or short. There's been a lot of horns and field hits in this roll. Like if you just stuck some money out there, which I don't have, you'd be making some. Twenty-five there in the field no as a hedge to my five for nine hundred <laughs> and eighty. Ace to shaka, saucy saucy. Let's go. Hit your spots. Wow. Another ace deuce shocker. Back to back. Let's look at Mark's bets or his screen after this. As far as where, where does he go? He has to jump up there. See a horn, bet a horn. I know he always bets a horn. So when he sees a horn, his horn is like all the way up there. Dice Prime, 2,500, two. Ooh. Wow, Mark, not on that one. Vince, you jumped up there. What did you get off that? Vince got a pretty big payday off that one. All right, so I got 25 out of it. Let me parlay my field. All right, get your bets out. Two, one, three. No more bets. Dice are out, hands high. All right. Three, six, three, five. All right, and we got a yo, another. That's three primary hits in a row. I know I went away from the hard way set. It is what it is, right? I mean. Whatever, whatever you're going to do, you're going to do, but 
lo and behold, here we are. Primary hit after primary hit. I only have a field bit. Those were horns that would pay a lot better at 50 bucks, but see a horn, bet a horn. Did we have let's see, what does the leaderboard happen? Yo, yo eleven. Has to be some big big numbers here. Oh my god, Vince over a hundred K. Wow. What what did you have on that? You like full parlayed it, didn't you? Share with us, Vince. What did you do? What did you do? Forty five hundred yo. Wow. Wow. The the school of Vince's hard bets. <laughs> You have some guts, buddy. I will give you that. I'm going to go $25. Um, horn high, yo. Yeah. Did Mark finally jump on board there? Nope. He's not betting the horns. Wow. He must have it all on the five. Just like I do. <laughs> All right, well, we got a yo. What are we going to get now? Three, six, three, five. Heart eight, heart six. Those are the other primary numbers. We got a nine. Nina, it is a filled bit. Three. Six, nine. So, here comes the conundrum. You can hedge the eight for the ATS. I have 25 on it. That could garner me quite a bit. Or do I take the chance? I will go with what the most votes out there say hedge take the win or or do I take the risk Vince is on tilt for sure. Why? What was 135k? Good job, Vince. What a comeback. What do you think? You think lay it for 420? What does 25 pay at 175 times 175? Or, or well, what is it times? It's times 35. 25 times 35. Uh. Give me a second. My brain's so mush right now. Eight, eight seventy-five. So if I lay it for for four twenty, that's gonna give me what three fifty. So eight seventy-five. Do I lay it or do I not lay it? What do you guys think? All right. Looks like they said you got it. You can shoot the eight. So I'm going to go for it. For the content. For the content. All right. We did get a nine. I guess we need to put it back in use. Uh, this cross. Let's put a $25 on that. On high yo. Leave twenty five there. Inside. All right. No more bets. Dice are out, hands high. Yeah, you can't lose. You really should lay it. I've always. <laughs> 
when eight is the only number that I've needed, it's never really worked out well with me not laying it. But I'm going to trust it. Jen might be the genius of the day. I might not be, but we'll see. Guaranteed money that might not be guaranteed anymore after this roll. All right. Dice are out. Hit the spot. All right. We got the eight. Yes, we did. Jen is really, really smart here. Six, two, eight. Hell yeah. Mm. No lay cutting into my bets here. How about that, dice gods? All right. Now, here's the big question. Do you go off after you hit one side of one side of the ATS? I've seen that work so often that a bad roll happens after that. What do you think? Holy cow. Big AZ, this would set their bankroll record. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Big AZ, go to town. Vince, you have a competitor. <laughs> Big AZ's in the house. Uh, I just hit the eight. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Go off one roll? I mean, I'm I'm definitely in the positive if I take, well, well, here's what I can do, right? Let me take down my bets, and let me bet up to what at least makes me even. So I'm at least 1,299, or 1,399 up. Uh, so that means that I can go black chip across. That's 600. I can go across with one green trip. That's 700. I can go odds of how much on the five? Let's do 200. Okay, I mean, we're still in the positive here. My rack still has 2,400, so we'd be 400 up. Let's get some hard ways. We need a horn or two. I've been hitting horns a big AZ. If you look at the distribution, you would have been at like ten zillion dollars at this point. I've hit so many yos and, and ace deuces, hit a twelve. Um all right. So I'm gonna hop the fives. Let's go here. Pop them for 50. Make the yo for 25. Let's go green ship level. All right, now that's pretty close. I'll still be positive. No more right. bets. Shut them off. Five. You have not thrown a deuce all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to throw the deuce. I'm just trying to throw some numbers where I start collecting some money at this point. So, deuce is not the uh, the target. I'm just trying to avoid and keep the roll going, make some profits, or hit the five. The five is what I'm trying to hit here with that hop. All right, and that curse did not happen. We ended up with a hard way, hard 10 on the end. Oh, that's the point. I thought that, why did I think the point was five? I'm an idiot. Okay, should have hopped that one. I did have a hard way. Let's see if AZ's on the hard way. If he is, he's going to go soaring through the skies. AZ, did you play the hard ways? Hard, pay the line. 
He would hop over Vince at this point if he did. Ooh, almost 70, 76,000. Wow. <sighs> I hopped the wrong number. That's typical. Okay. All right. Let me get over it. All right. I'm going to go down here. 35. All right, hop to 10. No more bets. Max bet is 10k, yeah. Yeah, I didn't put it max, max, max on everything. I, I don't really like to have it that way. That's why, you know, whatever. Only the second point. This is the last roller. So, enjoy, guys. Enjoy the last. It's not going to be forever. All right. 3635. This does make up for the earlier struggles. Hopefully you guys have taken some of your profits so you're guaranteed a profit. All right. And we got nine, five, four, nine, Nina. That is a field in number. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Oh. Uh. You know, I mean, you saw, I had some struggles here, but you just never know. It, sometimes you stick in with it. I've really tried to focus on my landing zone. That's really helped. Um, I went to the calculator and I forgot to enter some rolls. So let me catch back up. It was 3-6 the last one. Then 6-2. And then five five. And then five four. Okay. All caught up there. We're back on. We're on the nine. Let's move that to the ten. Yep. Move to the ten. Are you kidding me? Move. There we are. Okay. And nine. Let's make a $500 five. All right. The distributions have evened out. We're still seeing quite a few 11s. So we'll do that and that. We did have a hard 10 potential for these two. Does this look, our rack still 12 something or 2200, so it'll still end positive. That's the important thing. No more bets. Let me go back to the leaderboard so we can Dice see what damage is being done here. Ooh, big AZ. One head away from overtaking vents. Okay. Let's go, guys. Nine is the point. This would be the third unique point hit if we hit it. We've already hit two. And nine is here, so that is the second one there. All right. Three, six, three, five. Crip. In landing zone right now. Two focus areas. All right. Hit the spot. Oh, that was so short. But we hit our five, guys. 
if you're on big on the five, Vince, what do you have on that five? You have five thousand? Three two five. That that number is guaranteed to be more than the sevens, no matter what at this point. Sevens can no longer catch up or surpass the five. Can we get another number higher than the five? Or higher than the the, than the sevens guaranteed. We'll see. The roll's not over yet. Fourteen fives tonight. Wow. Should be a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there is a table max, right? Like, it is what it is. I have mine at five hundred, so I. Got a little little chunk there, a little nice hit. All right, I'll just take that nice little win, and we'll come here and get a horn. Twenty-five dollar horn hayu. Oh, where did I put extra shit on the pass line? Sorry. Oh, can I undo that? Where's the undo button? I thought that was here. Undo last. Ooh, it did allow me to do it. Nice. Thank you, Chuck. Awesome. I owe you 140k ROI. Why? Because the table isn't like a gazillion max. You're never going to get that out there. Most tables, there's going to be a max some sort. All right. So we got that five. That was good. That was our biggest number that we had out there from a pay perspective. We did fall short, though. So get to the wall. Not too hard. Hit the spot. I didn't hit the spot. They just died. Like plucked out of the sky like doves. Better. We got an ace deuce shaka. Oh boy. That's saucy. Where is big AZ on that? That's more than the repeater at this point on the threes. Check your check your screens, folks. I think you might see Big AZ pa pass up. Let's see. Pass up, Vince. Freight train coming through. Let's Three. see. Single the field. Single the field. Oh, Vince actually went up. Holy cow, Vince had the cajones there. 201. Big AZ did go up, but, uh, yeah. Wow. Look it up and up, man. He He's charging ahead. He he said, this is the last roll. I'm putting it all in play. I don't care what happens. Let's get it for the content. So we got a little hit off of our horn. We'll uh, split it now. Go 25-25. See a horn, better horn? See a horn better field. No more All right, we're going out. I'll have to reconcile the. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> we have we have a lively group here. This is probably the most degen, uh, bet heavy group. You'll ever see right here playing right now. Woo. Love it. Three six three five. I don't know if I can keep it going, but I'll try. Jeez. Hit the spot. I was still I was closer, but still a little bit short on that one. That's better. All right. What did we end up with the result? Oh my goodness. Did you see a horn bit of horn? We got an ace to Shaka right back. Oh my. Come on, AZ.
Come on now. I know you usually back it up with uh, bet all the horns you can. Let's see. Take a look. Big AZ. Come on. Don't disappoint me. 104. Ooh, he went down. What the hell? What the? You were betting a come bet. He was hedging. Oh, my bejeebus. You you bet a, a, a horn and a yo maybe straight up, I bet. Ah, yeah. No horn high for you. Well, I just won a little bit of money on that one. All right, we'll bump them both. 25, 50-50. Vince went up 80k. Holy cow. Big AZ, what are you doing? He had no he had no faith. Yeah, he said, uh uh bet see a horn, uh bet the sevens, I think is what he did. <laughs> Big AZ hop the sevens for Max or something. <laughs> uh, I'm not throwing the hard way set, by the way, Big AZ. It is the 3V set, and that is actually a primary hit, uh, if that helps. But, yeah. Uh, the Yo and the, and the Ace Deuce are on the primary. <clears throat> and I've been hitting a lot of primaries, although when I switched the hard way set, I seem to go away from primaries. Very weird. <laughs> All right, hit the spot. Ooh, that looked good. Felt good. It's a yo, guys. Oh, my goodness. Another freaking primary. If he's off of this one and goes negative, I don't know. We need to check the pulse of Big AZ. Come on now. Come on now. You have to have had faith after that. Is Mark over there sleeping too? He should be up at the top of the leaderboard. Mark loves himself a bison. <clears throat> Holy cow. Yo, 11. 410 is what I want off that. Up and up. AZ went down again. Holy hedging. Are you like... Wow. How'd you go down? On a yo. He's, he's hopping everything else other than the, the horns. Oh my. Uh-oh. I might have to... No, nope, it looks like it processed. Uh, do I keep on pressing this? 75-75? Uh, 75, 75? I mean, I'm bound to not hit that at, at some point. Let's hop the... Let's hop the 5 there. Which 8s have we been hitting? We've been hitting the 5-1. Uh, we've been doing both 6-2 and... Well, we'll go with 6-2. All right. We're doing a little hopitus-hippitus. Vince at 441,000. No Amazing, Vince. Amazing. Dice are up. Yeah. <laughs> AZ was betting the, the don't come, huh? On that one, maybe? Could have... No, but... It, well, yeah, that would have hit him on the don't come. But I don't know. Can I get another primary hit? Might you see a hard eight or a hard six? A yo or a ace deuce? If you do, what are you going to do? Who are you going to call? All right. Hit the spot. Nice spot. Another yo! Oh my god! Holy cow! There we go! If you parlayed that and parlayed it again, where would you be? Holy cow! What do you guys have to say about that? <laughs> Holy cow! That's like a ton of primary hits in a short period of time how many of them are there i need to catch up with the kpis while you guys get your bits in i don't know if you're not betting a horn uh you're missing out on some opportunity that's for sure 
Last one I had was a five. That was a while ago. These two, 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 three. There's a nine before that, yep. Two, one, three. One, two, three. Uh, five, six. And then another yo, back to back. Back to back threes, back to back yo's. Four horns in a row. Holy shnikes. Can't press any higher. <laughs> Bet all the horns, Vince. They they all have the 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 stuff in there, right? Let's go with a hundred dollar yo. And uh Yeah, we'll leave those there. That's fine. Yeah, go to twenty five to twenty five. Let's... All right, let's take a look at the leaderboard. What ended up happening there? Vince at 596,000. Big AZ lost a little bit again, but not too much. So I think he hedged some on the other stuff. All right. Keep popping those sevens, Big AZ. It's not going to help you. You should have been on the horn. All right. That is beyond the repeater on uh, the yo's and the threes. <clears throat> All right. Three, six, three, five. Can I get another primary hit? Might you see a hard six, hard four? I don't know. I'm hoping for a yo. $100 on it. Straight up. Hit the spot. All right. Oh, did he hop the sevens? We'll see. We'll see. Does Big AZ go up? Or did he finally switch and change and then not get hit by this? I, uh, oh. No more bets. Missed locking you guys out, so I'm sorry. It's over, folks. We're going to count up who and where and what is the top people at this point. 6-1. And we're finally done. This was a nice roll. Good way to end it. Hitting one side. Pretty much all high. For the most, other than threes. Threes and fives, and that was it. Everything else high. All right, Big AZ did hop the sevens again, and he, look at that, 244,000. Going into first place, he was either on the whole full-hearted DC side or um, he put full odds on his uh, don't, don't pass bet and hop the sevens. Undeterred. Hey, good job, AZ. Good job. You, you didn't give up, and you kept hopping the sevens, and they eventually came. All right, so how did I fare? Up the shooter, 2,195. Up for the night, 1,759 overall. What was the distribution? We had uh, 14 fives higher than the overall sevens. We had underperformance on both the six and eight, way over performance on the yo's with 11 yo's. Uh, the threes were un underperforming as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not the threes. I'm sorry. So this is the O's. Uh, the threes were overperforming at seven. Uh, and then sort of a very weird distribution overall. Uh, so let's go to the ticker tape and see who is the top ten now here. So the new top ten that we have. Big AZ, number one, 244,976. Vince, number two, 17,450. He left it all on the line out there. You have to applaud him for having the cajones to leave it out there. Up and up in third place, 10,910. Dice Prime, 6,400. Uh, Emmy Bear, 5,338. God is Good, 5,197. Duracell, 3,364. Solly, uh, at 19,060, so I didn't see when he joined. Sorry, Sully. 
1918 for Brian P. And IP Noah 1982. Let's go to who was below that because we had a lot of people that joined a little later and we had a big roll the first two rolls before we cut out thinking Big Easy was going to go on. I actually finished in 11th place at 1759. Blue J 1700. We had MWS for money 1166. Waylon 1009. Rich 393. Uh, Scott 385. No Shoes 337. Uh, Procraps 305. Uh, Jen 281. K9 263. Anyone else online that was here? We had a couple people uh, into the negative. Looks like SJ uh, was in the negative. We also had um, uh, Chuck here in the negative, and then there was someone at the bottom there, East. Uh, I think he gave up after a few of those choppy, choppy rolls, but if he had stood in for the end, he would have definitely been toward the top. Um, all right. That place five turned my 10K into 100K in three hits. Isn't that crazy? Vince and Big AZ, impressive. <laughs> yeah, for sure. SJ, I agree. Yeah. That was pretty fun. I don't know that I've, that, that, I, that I've had... You know, it's so odd because I change sets to try and chase the primary hits to get hard ways. And, you know, I get a couple, but but not nearly as, as much. Should have just stood with the 3V. Um, I think it would have been better off. But, hey, thank you guys. You guys tuned back in. Uh, you know, I think some of you asked to, to get the table back on uh, because uh, Big AZ didn't go on. So, appreciate you guys coming back on, uh, staying Tuned. We had 79 total viewers, uh, 25 total hours watched just amongst the people that were concurrently viewing uh, with uh, currently 10 concurrent viewers. So uh, really good. Uh, continue to uh, appreciate all the support all you guys give. Hopefully, you know, I can keep the dice flat. That's <laughs> all I can say. It was tough. You know, I mean, SRR 7.88, not, not all that, you know, um, so it's, it's a little above average. Uh, when we go to the SOR um, over here, that does show a little bit more of the dice influence uh, with the 10.3. The SRR should actually be 6.3. Um, and then the SOR, because we did have quite a few come out sevens that happened. In fact, five of them. Uh, and then we had the SOR at 10.3. So that does show the, the dice influence there. So. Uh, 12k pays 2k lay on crapples. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Blue Blue Jay. Uh, thank you, Up and Up and K9. Thank you as well. Uh, just you know, hopefully I can continue to put out decent content. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. I I like the fact of trying to provide. Um, what do you guys think? So I know some of you are still on here. What do you guys think about being able to see the actual um the actual dice here and how 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 they get pulled in the no frills and flipping them over any of that stuff there's going to be a slightly better angle so i do have a tripod that was uh broken at the base where it holds it you know steady um i i fix that i'm i'm sure it's going to be cured by tomorrow but is that is that a better look do you guys like seeing the entire wall so you can see the dice as they're pulled back um, what do you, what do you guys think? Okay, good. I changed some of the views. Uh, I know folks have said that they like the view of the, of the, being able to see the, the chip fill area, right? The bank and, and, uh, then getting to see also the, where the dice line. Yeah, there's going to be an overhead view. Uh, I, my tripod right now is being fixed, 
So it should be fixed tomorrow. Should have it uh, looking pretty good. 200k bankroll next time. All right, we will do. So you know how how Procraps has Friday follies. We'll have silly Fridays too, or something something crazy where where we give uh, an insane bankroll. We're not gonna chase it all night long. So don't. Maybe we'll we'll, we'll cap it at one buy in. But who can turn a uh, the biggest bankroll I can give you into into the most money? That'll be fun. I'm sure Vince will will be up for that. What did Jen say? Uh, Jen said, I like seeing the dice slightly. Yeah, yeah, you'll have the overhead view uh, angle. It, it's just uh, I'm fixing the other tripod that I have. So you have a similar view to how you can see the angle of the table on the other side. It'll be on the other side. This means I'll, I need to walk around it um, in order to get you the, the proper view. Was the horn only 250 tonight? I don't know. I thought I thought I had opened the horn up a little bit more, but you could be right. I, I may have uh, capped the horn a little bit. All right, we'll open it all the way up. Uh, I'll post it tomorrow morning for tomorrow night. So we'll see you guys tomorrow night if you want to. Uh, before probably what is what time is Friday night fight? Seven seven p.m. or beyond that? Is it late? If you guys tell me what time uh, Friday Night Fights are, I'll try to be on two hours before. If you guys want to join at that time, it'll already be posted. So hopefully we can uh, allow buy bets on the 5 and 9 too. Okay. All right. Hops, hops only 250 as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, so it's 8 p.m. So I'll do I'll do one at 6 p.m. Central, which would be 7 um, 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, and I'll post it. I'll probably even post it right now. Uh, so feel free to be there. I'll put the crapsy thing probably up 10, 15, 20 minutes before. Join my Discord. I'll also make sure that it's there. The Discord links in the uh, description. And uh, hope to see all, all of you guys there. Thank you for the support. And uh, hopefully I, we can continue to provide you some good stuff. I have a stream deck that I'm going to get into this weekend and program. So you guys are going to have even more and more uh, good stuff up, up and coming. I appreciate it. And, and hopefully I can continue to shoot well. <laughs> I mean, there's never a guarantee with, with dice. Who knows? So. Yeah, we'll call it... Uh, Call it the high roller, high roller two, two hundred k. No, no rebuy. Do you think we can do it with no rebuy events? I think we would at least need one rebuy, to be honest. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you never know what can happen with dice. So we'll do two hundred k only one rebuy at two hundred k. All right, take care. Thank you, guys. No rebuy? Ooh, no rebuy. All right. Um, no rebuy. Okay, we'll do 200K no rebuy. But what happens if they, if they all get donked right away? It'll be an early show. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks. Thank you, Jen, for, for joining. Uh, glad to have you on the channel. Like and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye.